But look again at verse 17. Verse 17. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Now, is God being redundant here? Is the belt of truth the same as the sword? I don't think so. You might argue with me with that. But what's the number one rule of interpreting the Bible? Interpret it in context. So if there's two things there in that passage that may be contradicting each other, well, they're not because it's the Word of God. God must be saying something else with the belt of truth. Bible passages are to be interpreted in context within the paragraph, within the chapter, within the letter, within the Bible. That's how we are to interpret passages biblically. Always be careful of pulling a verse or a passage from the Bible and just stick it out here and forget about the rest. God does not work that way. He is the same God. He wrote this entire book, and he does not contradict himself, and he is not redundant. He's very specific. Our passage tells us that the belt of truth is definitely different than the sword of the Spirit which is the Word of God, and we'll talk about that in the future. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. But where do you put a sword? In your belt. <laughs> They're connected, aren't they? They're connected. God is good. A sword is held by the belt. So what is this belt of truth? The word truth so the next thing you, look, you do is you look at that word in the passage, in the chapter, in the letter, and you'll find in the NIV anyways, uh, well, no, not in the NIV, but I, I looked at the, all the translations, and you, you, the most times that you'll see the word truth in the letter to the Ephesians is seven times. And if you look at those words, you will see uh, two verses that speaks about truth that connects to this passage. Go back with me to Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4, verses 20 to 21. Ephesians 4, verses 20 to 21. You, however, did not come to know Christ that way. Surely you heard of him and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is in Christ Jesus. And look at Ephesians 5, verses 8 to 9. For you was, were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And what did Jesus say in the gospel when he declared himself to the world in John 14, 6? one of the specific things he said is, I am the truth. I am the way, I am the life, I am the truth. May I suggest that the belt of truth is none other than God, our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Doesn't it make sense? That the belt of truth is Jesus Christ and what he says, so it connects with the word of God. But it's not just the Word of God. It is Jesus Himself. Doesn't it make sense that Jesus Christ is to wrap around us and hold everything together for us and the Word of God is held by Jesus Christ? So may I encourage you to think about that. We are Christians to always put on the full armor of God and the first thing, the first thing we must put on is the belt of truth, and that is Jesus Christ. Because it doesn't even state Jesus in that armor, does he? Well, it's the belt of truth. We need to start with Jesus Christ. Otherwise, everything else will fail. Always put on Jesus Christ and trust him in everything. You're trusting, I'm trusting my belt to hold my pants up right now, because these are over large pants. <laughs> So when you put on that belt of truth, which is Jesus Christ, you are trusting him to hold everything together. That's where it starts, to trust him fully. Put it on, wrap around, let it wrap around you. 
Let Jesus Christ. Now, what happens if you don't have that belt? The devil will attack Christians with all sorts of ideas, not of God, and we can allow the devil to win. It's the belt of truth. Jesus is truth. If you don't have that belt, you know what's going to happen? Lies will come into your life. We read in Colossians 2.8, it's noted in your uh, notes there, I believe, the passage, but let me read it to you. Colossians 2.8 tells us from God, See to it, Christian, that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and basic principles of this world rather than of Christ. Put on the belt of truth, which is Jesus Christ, and you will not allow the devil to attack you and confuse you. Think about, as an example, uh, you know, Rob mentioned evolution, that's one. But sim simply think about government. God talks about government. If government does not depend on biblical principles all sorts of weird ideas will come up from the world, from human thinking, and it will confuse you and mess you up. Are we seeing that in our own government today? We are. We need to get back to biblical principles. Put on the belt of truth. Otherwise, the devil will confuse you with lies. So that's the first thing. If we don't put on the belt of truth, who is Jesus Christ, trusting Jesus in everything, in everything, including our government, including your work, including schooling, including your family, if we don't depend on Jesus Christ in all of those things, the devil will attack, and we can be taken captive with hollow and deceptive philosophies and evil principles. If it's not through Christ, it's likely from the devil. Can you picture Iron Man putting on this armor? By the way, deception can happen right here in the church. Lies can happen. We all need to put on the belt. So I encourage you. I'm teaching myself. That's the first thing we need to do. Let Jesus wrap around you and let him hold everything. Put everything in check because it can happen. In churches, it can happen in Christian families. It's happening out there, obviously. So now back to this Iron Man. Can you picture him just putting on the armor so that he can go? Iron Man will not go to the battlefield without his armor. How about you and me? Are you going out there without an armor? Uh, it's a rhetorical question, isn't it? Because we all do that. Will we go to the spiritual battlefield and the, it's everywhere. Will we go to the spiritual battlefield without an armor? You and I who are Christians are in a spiritual battlefield on a daily basis. We need to put on the full armor of God. Will you make a commitment to make uh, that a priority in your life? to put on the full armor of God. Start with a belt of truth. And, and one good verse to remember is Colossians 3.17. How do we put on the belt of truth? Colossians 3.17 tells us whatever you do, whatever, whether speaking or in action, in word or deed, we need to do it all in the name, all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Would you picture for a moment Jesus wrapping around you? And would you picture Jesus wrapping around you always? And ask him, Lord Jesus, what do you think of what's happening in my life? What do you think about this situation? What do you think about these decisions that I have to make? Put on the belt of truth which is Jesus Christ on a daily basis. And think about the rest of the armor of God as we become soldiers for Christ. Let us pray.